carried him to the top of the tallest mountain. The bottom of the lowest mountain and the middle of the lowest mountain. <laughs> We're going to do one last thing before we leave, and it's another game. They're going to tell you a story to go home with. I have the easy part. I'm going to be sitting here conducting this story, which means I'm going to be pointing to different people at different times. If I was pointing to Chip, and Chip was telling the story, and it suddenly went over to Jonathan, Jonathan has to pick up exactly where Chip left off on the story. I'm going to bounce around and see if they can keep up. So, uh, who's the youngest here, you think? Me. Are you? How young are you? <laughs> oh, you are. You are indeed. Seventeen. Seventeen. Wow. Security. Security. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and what's your name? Marcia. Marcia, I want you to uh, give us our uh, title for this story. And I want you to think back, well, to when, when you were a child. And I know you you're read a lot of uh, uh, fairy tales, but I want you to make up the name of a fairy tale for us. Green Giant Flies Away. The Green Giant Flies Away. said Tony. <laughs> he was all alone in a little dusty shack in the middle of a plane, and he had no friends. He was green, but he had an imagination. And that imagination carried him further than any child had ever gone before. It carried him to the top of the tallest mountain, the bottom of the lowest mountain, and the middle of the lowest mountain. <laughs> Sometimes lakes, but he had one dream. Stick with me. <laughs> His dream, don't laugh, was to fl fly away. <laughs> I want to fly away, said Tony. I want to fly to the moon <laughs> and the stars and the sky beyond the stars. So Tony contacted a local DJ <laughs> who was running a contest. Name this song, and you can fly away. <laughs> but Tony said, I don't know nothing about songs. I've been stuck in this dusty town forever. That's over 40 years in dog years. <laughs> Which was about 40 divided by seven. Carry the two. <laughs> but I digress. Okay. And I'm bad at math. The song came on the radio, and Tony instantly knew it. It was the song as... Grandmother used to sing to him that went like this. You must learn to love everybody. Ring, 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 ring. Are you the fifth caller? What's your name? Tony. <laughs> I know the name of that song. Want to hear it? <laughs> the name of the song is I'll Teach You to Fly. And he was right. <laughs> He was the winner. He went down to the station to collect his flying prize. <laughs> I wonder what this is going to come in, a box, a dream, a less... Mm, Paul guitar? <laughs> that was it. It was in a Les Paul guitar. Two thousand dollars <laughs> and a pill that he could take, which would allow him to get high. <laughs> The DJ said, man, you're not really gonna take that pill right here, are you? Because we don't have insurance. <laughs> but he did anyway. But it wasn't the pill that made him fly. It was the gasoline. Someone had poured gasoline inside the body of the guitar. And with one match, he exploded into space. He went further than the Pluto, which is no longer a planet. He looked at his skin. It was slowly turning green. And then peeling off, revealing muscle underneath. He was turning into the invisible man. And the green giant. <laughs> he was the invisible green giant. Man. He looked at himself and said, if I'm invisible, how is anyone going to know? I'm a giant. Or flying. Now no one will believe me. So he began to cry space tears. <laughs> But in space, no one can hear you cry. 